The Book of Mormon. What is it, and why do members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints care so much about it? Mormons, properly referred to as Latter-day Saints, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, read and revere the Bible as all Christians do. But they read and believe in an additional book called The Book of Mormon, Another Testament of Jesus Christ. For them, it's not a replacement for the Bible. It's not a substitute. It's a companion. Just as the Bible is Scripture, the Book of Mormon is also Scripture. Let's talk a little about what Scriptures are and how they come about. The word Scripture means sacred or religious writings. Scriptures are written by God's spokesmen, called prophets, His representatives. Although God often teaches and communicates with His children individually, something Latter-day Saints call personal revelation, when God interacts with or teaches His children as a people, His prophets record those events and teachings for the benefit of all. The Holy Bible is one example of Scripture. It is an account of God's interactions and teachings with the people in and around the Eastern Mediterranean region before, during, and after the ministry of Jesus Christ. It is a collection of writings, both spiritual and historical, written by prophets. In the Holy Bible, there are miraculous stories of faith, sacrifice, trial, and love. You might have heard of Noah and the Ark, or Moses and the children of Israel, and of course the birth, ministry, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. These stories and events were written down, collected, and shared from generation to generation. They were eventually compiled into a collection of Scripture, a book, called the Holy Bible. Originally written in both Hebrew and Greek, the Bible has since been translated into English and hundreds of other languages available throughout the world. What about the people that lived beyond the geographical setting of the Bible, outside the Mediterranean area? What kind of interaction did God have with them? Well, in the Bible, from the book of John, Jesus revealed to his disciples in Jerusalem, And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Some of these other sheep to which Jesus refers are the inhabitants of the ancient Americas who lived at that time. The Book of Mormon is a compilation of the sacred writings of many generations of the people that lived there and received instruction and teachings from God. They had prophets who, just like the Bible, recorded spiritual and historical events over thousands of years. And similarly to the Bible, these stories and events were written down, collected and shared from generation to generation. They too were eventually compiled into a book. It is called The Book of Mormon, Another Testament of Jesus Christ. And like the Bible, the Book of Mormon is a collection of writings both spiritual and historical, written by God's prophets. In the Book of Mormon, there are also miraculous stories of faith, sacrifice, trial, and love. The crowning event in the Book of Mormon is the account of Jesus Christ ministering to the other sheep as he said he would. Shortly after his death, the Savior appeared to the inhabitants of the ancient Americas as the resurrected Lord with a body of flesh and bones. As he did in his earthly ministry in Jerusalem, Jesus taught the inhabitants his gospel, and they recorded it. They handed it down to future generations through prophets, leaders, and other inspired individuals. So how did the Book of Mormon get its name? Who is Mormon? And what does he have to do with this book of Scripture? In the 4th century AD, again in the Americas, there lived a prophet and historian named Mormon. He was charged by God to abridge all of the scriptural records that had been kept and passed down from past prophets in that part of the world. Mormon engraved the abridgment on gold plates in a language his people called Reformed Egyptian. As Mormon was the prophet whom God called to compile the centuries of records, the book carries his name, the Book of Mormon. At the end of his life, he passed these engraved plates to his son Moroni, also a prophet of God who was last to add to the book. Before he died, Moroni buried the gold plates in a stone box on a hillside in what is now upstate New York. 1,400 years later, in 1823, this same prophet Moroni, now a resurrected being, appeared to the prophet Joseph Smith. He told Joseph about the gold plates, showed him where to find them, and commanded him to translate the record into English, which Joseph did under the power and inspiration of God. And since then, the Book of Mormon has been translated into over a hundred languages and is, like the Holy Bible, also available throughout the world as an additional book of sacred writings written by God's prophets, Scripture. So what's in the Book of Mormon? As stated on its introduction page, the Book of Mormon puts forth the teachings of the gospel of Jesus Christ, outlines God's plan of happiness for His children, and tells them what they must do to gain peace in this life and obtain salvation and eternal life with God. Nephi, an early prophet found in the Book of Mormon, preached, And we talk of Christ, we rejoice in Christ, we preach of Christ, 
We prophesy of Christ and we write according to our prophecies, that our children may know to what source they may look for a remission of their sins. In fact, the Book of Mormon has over 500 pages containing nearly 3,500 references to the Savior Jesus Christ. It testifies of Jesus Christ, it declares the mission of the Savior, it reveals the gospel of Jesus Christ and clarifies doctrine. As the Bible contains the Old Testament and the New Testament, the Book of Mormon is yet another testament of Jesus Christ. It is another witness of God's dealings with His children in a different part of the world. The Bible and the Book of Mormon work together to teach and testify of the Lord Jesus Christ and God's dealings with His children. Today, millions of Latter-day Saints believe the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ, to be Scripture. They believe it is the Word of God to His children and stands as a companion to the Holy Bible. God loves His children and wants them to know about Him, learn of Him, and His Son Jesus Christ. He has provided Holy Scripture to show His children the way. Through living the teachings found in the Book of Mormon and the Holy Bible, they can find peace in this life and salvation in the life to come. The Book of Mormon. What it is, where it came from, and what it teaches. Now you know.